Yo guys, what is happening my Mobile Tool Games and welcome to another episode of our modded Minecraft City Let's Play. I'm back here again for another day of building. Um, I'm pretty excited to show you guys what I've been working on here. You might be, you know, seeing where I am. Like, what are you doing? Why are you inside of a, of a stone area with sea lanterns? Well, I have been working on my latest project. Mm-hmm. Doesn't look great. Yep, definitely. Uh... <laughs> I've been working pretty hard here, guys. I've been working on a new stock market. That's right. If you guys remember from last or two seasons ago, I guess, whatever it was, the first City Let's Play series that we did on the channel here, we were going to build a stock market. The uh, issue there, and this is all kind of tying into the economy of the world, this is pretty useless because, again, there's nobody on the world to actually use it. But I wanted to build it anyway, challenge myself, and see if we could do that in Minecraft. And I have figured it out now. I'm not going to go through everything uh, that's going on here in today's video just because it's a lot to explain and to go through. But basically, what I figured out here is what we were doing wrong uh, is that we were using a, or not even last, like last time we couldn't figure it out at all. Um, but I was, you know, trying to figure out how to use a test for last time to figure out uh, if a certain player's score was being tracked on uh, on a scoreboard. However, and that would be able to make an adjustment to the price of that stock so the player could purchase it. However, the issue there was that the test for is only account for players that are online and real players. Now, since we're creating fake players as the players here, that didn't work. But the new scoreboard test feature, which was actually in the game we were doing it last time, does allow for that. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to go into that more in another video. However, if we jump into spectator mode, uh, we can hop up through the other floor. This is the actual bulk of it. You can see it was a lot bigger, and I've actually trimmed it down. Uh, the issue there being, actually, no, I'm not even going to get into it. But it's just an issue with the exchange machines not being able to handle the uh, changes that quickly. So I left uh, it just now as two, and I've left a little bit of the old stuff here as well, but in case I want to hook it back up in the future. Um, but yeah, I've just left it as two, uh, remove and adds for every single stock that happened on this timer. So I'll go into it again in a whole other video, but let's get up from under here. I've also set the spawn chunks and the spawn, which will be this building right here. Just something simple, and uh, I think it will work just fine. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And uh, and then I've done a little bit more work here. I did a little jewelry store that I wanted to add in here. In fact, I may have shown you guys, you may have seen this like kind of like raw or not finished, but now it's there. And this is another little building, which I'm not sure what to make into yet. Um, but what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be working on a uh, on a stock market in Minecraft for the building, actually, the actual building aspect of it. Uh, that's what I want to get finished today. Uh, it's a little bit bland over here, and I want to uh, kind of change that. And this is one of the areas I want to focus on working on and all that stuff. So we will be getting to that. But what we're going to do today is build it right here. And why am I doing it right along the water? That's a great question. The main reason is that there's no downtown yet, and I'm too impatient to wait till we put a downtown in. Uh, the other reason is it's a pretty convenient spot if you're in the hills, if you're in downtown, if you're in the, the uh, beach area. You can easily access it if you're coming down off the highway. It's in a very central location uh, in a very popular spot, especially if you like consider this in Grand Theft Auto, this ramp that goes down. Everybody uses it, so uh, so I think it's a good spot. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be putting the building in right here. Let me just go ahead and grab a brush. We can paint in some dirt so we can build on it, and then we can, uh, we can start building. BRC grass 6, and we will mask air with that, and then just by that command alone, we can go ahead and simply build out the grass that we need. Uh, to build this on top of. Yes, I could have used a fill command. Yes, I could have used a set block command, but this is way more fun. I get to actually draw it out. It's a little bit more fun when you're doing especially this sort of terrain stuff because I can kind of move it around the way I like and create these uh, different uh, height levels within the floor. Yeah, we'll leave it at that for right now. That's all the uh, space that we're going to need. So let's go ahead and start working on this build. So it's going to be pretty straightforward. I want to use some white concrete with it. By the way, we can get rid of all this stuff now. I want to use white concrete with it, of course, as well as maybe even some gray as well as some black stained glass. I'm going to be using kind of a more conventional office building look, but I think it's going to fit this very well. Um, so for the first floor here, we're just going to simply build some maybe grander openings here. That's probably about actually an appropriate height there. I don't want to go too large with it, but we're going to be doing these three wide sections. I'm going to do five of them just because that's a pretty even number. But then on the rest of the build, I'll show you what we're going to do. It's going to be a little bit more intricate. One, two, three, four, and then we will add the fifth one right here. Now I've pulled out the ax because obviously we can use this in this build. We're just gonna simply go along here and then do slash slash replace. We'll go air with 95, 15, and just like that, we've got our black glass in place. Place a little thing going along like that, and that will give us a basic sort of structure. Now I'm just gonna grab this in each side, and then we will go over maybe right in the middle, which I believe is actually right here. We'll copy that. Rotate it by 90 degrees. Oh, I didn't actually figure out what the middle would be, though. Hold on. 
It's going to be right here, so we'll paste it. I was going to rotate it again, but then just realized that we don't actually need to go to the full, uh, well, we're not going to do any windows on the back or on the side. So we are just going to leave it like so. And bam, that gives us a pretty basic sort of lobby structure. And now I'm just going to come along here and place in some concrete on the ground. If I place, I'm saying that pretty loosely, we're going to fill in some concrete on the ground. Man, World Edit has literally changed the way I play Minecraft. It's crazy. And maybe for a good thing, maybe or maybe for the better, maybe for the worse. That's how I should phrase that. But I don't know. I feel like it's really helped uh, the speed at which I'm building. And it allows me to do a lot more of this cool detail stuff versus just always working on builds. So... Wow, I thought the clone and fill command were overpowered. This thing is just way to a next level. Pretty simple concept here for the next floor. I'm going to be dividing up these three wide stacks just like so. The building will have a little bit of height. Not too much, though. It will just be a nice, a nice size. There we go. Something just like that. We'll go ahead now and grab both sides, and we'll do another copy. You know what? I'm just going to actually copy from this corner, and now that will allow us just walk over here, obviously, and, and just do it like this. This is going to make it a little bit easier. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a much better way of doing that. And then again, we'll just rotate 90 and then paste. And then again, rotate 90 and then we'll paste. Pretty quick. Oh man, this is too much fun. I want this to be somewhat of a functional building. So what I'm going to do is actually go ahead here, add a little bit of an elevator chute as well as some little office chairs and whatnot. I don't know. I think that will just help it out overall and give it a little bit more realism. I was looking at those buildings over there and wasn't too happy with the fact that they are still empty. Might go and do something about that at some point, but there's so much else to build, I haven't got around to it. Anyway, I'm going to go along and add in just some office chairs by the windows at least to make it look like it's got something going on on the inside. All right, there we go. That gives us a really nice little interior. In fact, to even make it a little bit nicer, when you walk out the elevator, we will provide you with some, oops, with some bushes. Yep. And we don't have a ladder in there or elevator, um, but it's really just a ladder. But anyway, we'll do that. And now that kind of gives us a good idea of what this is going to look like. Now for the most fun thing that I've ever done in my life. Honestly, this is the best feature ever. Um, let's just grab right here. Let's go ahead and grab over here. And now I think it's slash slash. Do you have to copy it first? I'm not sure. But we can just go slash slash stack stack. And then I believe it's up. And then uh, we could do like six. Oh, it's count in the directions. We could do six and then up. What do you guys think? I think that's actually a pretty nice size like that. And that's basically going to do it for the build. It's that easy. Um, I'm going to have to go in and obviously add in all the exchange machines and all the vending machines at some point. I just realized I had to do that for two of them. That's not going to be very fun. But anyway, I'm going to figure it all out. And what the heck? Oh, it's not loaded in yet. That's always cool. And this guy didn't get any glass. What's the matter with you? Okay. Um, We'll go up here and just simply... What did I do? Did I, did I grab those yet? I just grabbed first and second position. Okay, copied and pasted, and that messed it up, didn't it? Yeah, should have seen that one coming. I got to step one block up and then do it. That's awesome. And then we'll just go over here, seal off the ceiling, and the, the building's done just like that. All right, well, I'm feeling pretty good about that, and it adds a nice little bit of a, of a skyline almost into this little area of the city. So very cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead, yeah, obviously, like I said, add in the exchange machines, add in the uh, buy and sell machines, and hopefully I'll have that all ready for you guys for next episode to which I can share with you how this thing works, and it's going to be pretty cool. Um, and then, of course, if it fails miserably, which it, it might because I haven't tested this before. I've sort of tested it, but not in a mass effect or whatever this is called. In a big test, I haven't tested like a whole bunch of them working side by side, and it'll be interesting to see if it works. If it does work, though, I will show you how it works, and if it doesn't, then I'll tell you probably why it didn't work. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'll put them all along this wall probably, and this will work great. So I'm super happy that we were able to get that done. I'm also going to go ahead and give some detail out here and whatnot. But that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I know it was a quick one, but definitely a cool little build. And you can probably figure out a spot for this in your world. It's a pretty straightforward one, but definitely one that I like. Anyway, if you guys did enjoy, please don't forget to go below, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys all in the next video.